everyone, happy Tuesday. It's Connor here, welcome back. Hope you're all enjoying your day so far. It's time for one more candle review to finish off the day. If you missed it from earlier, I did a review of Hallmark's Possessed Plum. Um, I will link a uh, link down below in the description box if you missed that and you do wanna go check it out. But next up here, we have Homeworks Midnight Moon. So we are doing some Halloween reviews today for Homeworks. So uh, Midnight Moon, I'm very excited to talk about this one because I'm kind of having the same experience with this one that I did the Midnight Moon that um, I'm actually really enjoying this one, which really surprises me. Um, I have not been quiet about not being a huge Halloween person. Um, and I just never been that big into the Halloween candles and I've just not really gotten the hype, but, um, it seems with these new Halloween candles this year from Homeworks, I'm really enjoying them. And, um, I think that there's some really great scents. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to talk about this one. Um, I do really like the label on this one. I like how that blue, um, kind of shows when it's lit up. Uh, you got your moon, you got some bats, and it's just a really pretty wraparound label. Kind of reminds me of this spooky vanilla label from last year because it's got that same blue to it. Um, but yeah, anyways, we're going to discuss Midnight Moon. We're going to talk about the scent notes, uh, performance, burn, strength, and throw, and then we will wrap it up. So definitely check out that description box down below if you want to find uh, some helpful information and links. I will leave a link for the... Uh, URL for the Slatkin & Co. website and uh, you can click that link and then find this candle. Um, I would also check out um, your local Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, HomeSense, all of those types of stores. Uh, check those out. Even Ross, I know some people have been finding some candles at Ross. Uh, so definitely check those out because uh, there's a lot of Homeworks candles there lately and I do believe that there are some Halloweens ones. Um, I have seen Possessed Plum in those stores. I have not seen this one though, um, but honestly I would just check pretty frequently because I know that those stores are constantly restocking. So um, I would just say check as frequently as you can. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and get into this one you guys. I will uh, start by reading off the notes here. So our notes are autumn leaves, fresh pumpkin, dark woods, and ginger crystals. All right, so let me start by saying that there has been um, a comparison to Bath & Body Works leaves with this one, and I see where that is coming from, but I don't think it's an exact dupe. I definitely get that leaves from this one, like that leaves vibe, because it's kind of like that um, earthy type scent. But this one to me has a lot more of like that smokiness to it. Um, there's definitely some leaves components in here, but I think it's maybe more like a Halloween version of leaves, um, if you know what I mean. Um, this has a lot of um, like similar notes to leaves, but it's got that smokiness, I feel like, and kind of like more of that earthiness. Um, so what do I actually pick up in here? Again, we have autumn leaves, pumpkin, dark woods, and ginger crystals. Let's start with that autumn leaves. I do feel like I smell that like autumn leaves. Like it smells like the outdoors during October or like an autumn day. It's very fresh, kind of crisp, um, a little bit of sweetness, but it's just like a nice crispy outside smell. Um, I do get the pumpkin in here. The pumpkin is really nice and it mixes really well with that earthiness. Um, I do get the woodsiness in here for sure. That's definitely one of the most prominent notes that I'm picking up in here. It's just kind of like this woodsy type scent. Um, it is a little bit incense-y to me. I kind of get like a patchouli vibe to this one, um, or maybe even more of like a Palo Santo type vibe. Um, I actually have been burning the Homeworks Palo Santo pumpkin. Um, that review will go up a little bit later this week. But this one does remind me a lot of that Palo Santo pumpkin. Um, I get a lot of those similar notes because they obviously both have the pumpkin. And then I do detect Palo Santo in this Midnight Moon one. And then uh, to finish off, ginger crystals. I get a slight ginger note in the background. It's very slight though, so I really wouldn't let that scare you away. 
but it turns out that this is actually a really nice fragrance. I really like this one, which really surprises me, but it smells like a great scent. Um, I don't know if this is necessary, just uh, a Halloween scent. I actually think that you could really burn this throughout the entire fall. I think this would be really nice in just like their regular fall lineup. Uh, so yeah, I wouldn't mind Harry maybe re-releasing this one next year, but just give it like a autumn label, give it like some leaves or something and just maybe you could rename it like autumn air or autumn leaves. I think that that would be really nice. Um, but yeah, I do like this candle a lot. I like the label. I like the scent. So I am definitely happy with that. Um, let's talk about the performance on this one. As you can see, I'm about at the halfway point here for the burn. Let me go ahead and uh, give you guys an overhead view here. Um, this is our burn. It is not fully pulled out yet because I did just light it up before uh, starting the review, but the burn is doing great. As you can tell, those wicks look really nice. It's a clean uh, burner wax. Uh, I've got a nice pool starting. Um, so the wicks on this one, I'm having that same experience that I did with the uh, Possessed Plum, where these wicks definitely need to be trimmed after each burn because they are forming that carbon residue or like that mushroom top to them. Um, they're not sooting on me, but they definitely would be if I wasn't trimming the wicks. So if you have these, then I would definitely make sure you're staying on top of trimming those wicks. Um, I will say I have noticed that these are slightly thinner than I think the Possessed Plum wicks are. I think the Possessed Plum wicks are a little bit thicker. And the way that I can tell that is that the Possessed Plum seems to burn a little bit hotter. The flame seems to be a little bit bigger. And so um, I've just noticed that I think that the wick is a little bit bigger on the Possessed Plum. But this one still has those wicks that do seem to kind of want to get big so make sure you stay on top of those wicks but other than that the burn is really nice on this one um, I've been getting a very nice clean burn no issues of wicks falling over or drowning or anything like that um, strength and throw has also been pretty nice on this one it's kind of right in that like six six and a half range um, I don't really think I would want this one to be that much stronger than it is um, it's kind of one of those scents where it's nice but it's like I wouldn't want this to be overpowering in my house or I think that that would kind of make it a little bit less enjoyable so I'm actually kind of satisfied uh, satisfied with uh, strength and throw in this one it's about a six for strength and throw um, if you do want a little bit more I would definitely recommend putting this one in a hurricane and I do think that that helps out a little bit but um yeah overall I really like this scent surprisingly um I definitely think that it performs well and I could see myself repurchasing will I I'm not sure we'll have to see um again I think that this could be really nice during the fall time so maybe I'll pick up another one if it's on a great sale or if I find one out in like home goods Marshall's TJ Maxx I may pick one up, but um, yeah, overall, I would give this a thumbs up for sure. Um, so yeah, let me know down below in your comments on uh, Midnight Moon. I would love to know what you guys think of this one. Let me know in the comments. Um, check out that description box for a lot of good information, links, details, all of that fun stuff. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new here, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow. Bye.